So up next, we have Brian Quiet, and he is an instructor of social media marketing with Penn State University, and he's going to be taking us through the beacons and personalization of the guest experience. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Greetings from Penn State. Um, I am from the School of Hospitality Management there. Uh, I was charged with developing curriculum in digital marketing and specifically social media marketing. So today, we're going to be taking you guys on the journey of utilizing iBeacons as a tool for uh, better guest personalization. Hit it. I just told you that. <laughs> Next slide. All right, so what is beacon technology? Um, many of you guys may have heard the term kind of tossed around. Essentially, I think of beacon technology as kind of a small uh, computer uh, that is sourced through kind of a Bluetooth uh, battery. It can be programmed to interact with a native app or a developed app uh, for your specific uh, property or restaurant. Here are actually some photos. Uh, there were some photos of iBeacons there. So we're talking about the uh, Beacon Gold Rush. So there's several billion dollars really being alloc allocated towards Beacon. As you can see here, a quote from Business Insider Intelligence, um, there's almost $4.1 uh, $4 billion in 2015 uh, that will jump to $44 billion in 2016 as far as business that is promoted by uh, iBeacon technology. Now, as marketing professionals, we all know that marketing is all about time. You know, beacons allow you to deliver essentially the right message to the right person at the right time, which is essential as far as conversions are concerned. And as you can see here, this is kind of a little infographic that I have regarding kind of Internet of Things and the growth of these channels. So why do beacons matter? Well, obviously, beacons matter because the average uh, CTR for Facebook is 0.11%. The average click-through rate, um, as published by MailChimp, is between 1% and 3%. But the average click-through rate for push notifications through beacons have been as high as 80%. Also, individuality and personalization are growing trends in our industry. And as we move forward towards this utilization of personal uh, data and information, we need to be able to continue to collect this information. And as we know, the future of commerce is closing the loop between offline marketing and online marketing. So kind of an omni-channel strategy that really closes what we're doing online and what we're doing offline. So it's all about the personal uh, consumer experience. And here's a little clip from one of my favorite movies, The Minority Report. So although we aren't at the point where we can read irises and kind of project uh, commercial images, we are at the point where we can gather this kind of this contextual intelligence um, and essentially answering the how and the where, which we haven't necessarily been able to do previously uh, with app and mobile necessarily. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about kind of the personalization of the customer experience, uh, kind of from the perspective of a hotel. So notable patterns um, in buying behaviors um, allow us to better understand, anticipate changes um, in trends and changes in the development of uh, consumers' taste. So here are a variety of the different um, points in the consumer journey. Uh, and really, iBeacon technology can heavily be utilized in kind of uh, both the arrival, the check-in, as well as the post-leaving. Uh, so here, uh, as far as the arrival, imagine walking into a hotel and you're greeted by name or maybe a holograph uh, projection, as we saw in the Minority Report, actually greets you by name. And they let you know or allow you to control in-room experiences, such as temperature, uh, music choices, uh, view preferences. You can also alert the staff of the hotel um, regarding dietary uh, restrictions. So if you keep kosher, you know, they won't send you a message regarding their all-you-can-eat pig buffet. 
Also utilizing automatic check-in uh, with using kind of Passbook or now Wallet, uh, Apple Wallet technology. You no longer have to show your ID and shuffle for uh, the paying credit card upon check-in. And this is something that you can do uh, implementing the iBeacon technology along with your native app and reservation system. So this is just kind of an overview of some of the guest experiences and the opportunities that iBeacons can afford you. Um, a huge trend in our industry right now is really storytelling. So you can kind of add some characteristics to the space so you're no longer limited to the four walls um, as far as how you go about um, personalizing the guest experience. Also, when you talk about the, custom, uh, the connected experience, we also have automation, uh, personalization, as I said, in-room personalization. We also have data. We also have conveniences. And also interactivity with the four walls of the uh, given uh, hotel or restaurant. Awkward pause. Man, I got to uh, switch out of these uh, automated PowerPoint things. All right, so on the road to implementation. So I talked to, I've thrown out some ideas. I'm talking fast. I'm trying to make the time. So now here's kind of a brainstorm of ways that companies are currently using iBeacons. Um, customer insights, overall guest experiences, uh, really being able to uh, quantify where your most true profit points in a hotel. No more door hangers. Uh, no more odd knocks uh, when you haven't checked out. Uh, the usage of wearable eye beacons, which I think is a really cool idea, uh, kind of think Fitbit, where you might partner with uh, local purveyors in a given area and like, curate an actual experience there. And on the goals and strategies as far as implementing eye beacon technology, these are some questions uh, that you should be asking both yourself as well as the eye team as far as implementation is concerned. And these are kind of the three major categories for eye beacons, guest engagement, customer service, and also offering discounts. Now, what does implementation look like, or what are some steps to implementing uh, iBeacon technology? And I have these three steps here. Obviously, talk with your uh, technology team. Also, schedule a uh, conversation with your marketing team to, to inquire about your opportunities as far as rolling out, and as well as your um, goals for implementing uh, iBeacons. Now, I'd like to give special thanks to uh, Garrett Dodge, uh, CEO of Rockbot, which is a notable uh, beacon company that actually um, offers personalization of music in companies such as The Gap, um, uh, Fitness 21, um, as well as numerous other uh, companies such as Johnny Rockets. So once you walk into the location, they start to play your customized music. Again, that's my time. Uh, thank you, guys.